Greetings of the day. I am Rajkumar Parashari and I love doing physics. Today I am here with Z Advanced 2020 Physics Solution of question number 5. Friends, I expect that you have read this question several times. A beam of light from a monochromatic source would have been a better choice. Why I am saying so? Hint for this is that the refractive index depends upon wavelength of incident light. Just recollect the Cauchy relation. Anyway, let's proceed with the solution. Here is a parallel beam of light incident upon this structure. Let us see how the incident and the emergent wave front looks like. Here is the detailed diagram. A parallel beam of light is incident on this piece of transparent glass. As parallel beam of light strikes upon this piece of transparent glass and hence the incident wave front has to be a plane wave front shown by this straight line. AB happens to be the incident wave front. Incident beam is strikes the plane surface of the glass slab and hence refracted undeviated. This undeviated ray when falls upon the curved surface it is refracted again as the emergent light is traveling from denser medium to the rarer medium and hence they has to deviate away from the normal. This is what has been shown over here. So at this point, at this point, this dotted line shows the normal and this incident ray is deviated away from the normal. So all the incident rays which falls upon this curved surface, these converges at point O1 after refraction. Similarly, from this curved portion of the glass lab, the rays are refracted and appears to come from point O2. Similarly, we can draw the diagram for the refraction from this curved surface as well. This is what I'm leaving to you. We already know that the wavefront is always perpendicular to the rays. So let us try to draw the wavefront for the emergent rays. This is how it should look like. The center of this portion, the wavefront is at point O1. And as you can see, this wavefront got to be normal to this ray, normal to this ray, and normal to all the rays. Is that okay? Similarly, just try to draw the wavefront for these emergent rays. In the wavefront for these emergent rays, it should look like this. The center of this portion, the center, the radius cent the center of curvature of this portion of the wavefront should be at point O2. Now you can go ahead to make the wavefront. Of the emergent rays which come out of this portion of the uh, the transparent glass lab and it should look like this why it should look like this just look at the wave front of the top portion so the finally the emergent wave front should look like this thus the correct choice of this question appears to be a Thank you so very much for being till the end of this video.